Rate me on a scale from 1 to 10, but first, take a good look. I'm going to say hard four. What? That's kind of low. What could be better? Well, your foundation doesn't match your neck. Uh, you got fake and your eyes are kind of spread far apart. How do you know they're fake? Uh, just by the whole overall body size. That does not match up. That was kind of rude. <laughs> This woman must have come from itsallaboutme.com. Put the camera down and pick the weights up. Okay. The main man, Joey Swole, responded to this. So let's see what he has to say about it. If you're going to film at a gym that allows you to take videos, you need to do so responsibly with respect to other people. That means not getting upset if somebody walks through your camera and then posting it on social media. Influencers need to stop this nonsense acting as if they're filming, they're taking a video is more important than everybody else in the gym. That they need to stop what they're doing just because you're taking a video. I'm sorry, you don't own the place. Your video is never a priority over anybody in the gym. And let me let you in on a little secret. It's a gym, people know that it's busy. If somebody walks by, it's not gonna matter. Trust me, it's not gonna take away from your views, your likes, or whatever it is you're trying to accomplish with this video. But if you wanna to go to a gym where nobody's gonna walk by, or you can act like you own the place, go to a private gym or build your own. Until then, you need to do better. Mind your own business. My thoughts exactly. We've all been there man, this is the hardest bit of the workout, is when you're done and you got to put about 3,000 plates back, man, it sucks. These are five signs you're dealing with a toxic chick and it's time to walk away. A lot of y'all be scared to walk away, y'all be like, oh, she's the best thing in the world, her pussy's good, man, listen, there's four billion chicks on earth, be a fucking man. One, anytime you guys go through relationship issues, right, she's going to post an Instagram story or meme that relates to the situation, right? She's basically letting other dudes know, my dude fucked up, I need a shoulder to cry on, and a shoulder to cry on becomes a dick to ride on, come on, fellas. The easiest way to get a girl to cheat on her man, which is when they're going through shit, right? A breakup or just going through shit in general, right? You know why? Women react to her emotions, right? As soon as I see them quotes on her story, I'm going to slide on her DM. Like, you good? You know why? A shoulder to cry on becomes a dick to ride on. You get what I'm saying? Two, anytime a relationship get rocky, right? She threatens to leave. Oh, I'm going to leave you if you don't do this. Shut the fuck up. I don't give a fuck. I'm him. I'm him dunking. I'm him with you. A lot of y'all dudes be like, no, baby, I'll do whatever to fix this. Nigga, what? You crazy as hell. That's four billion chicks on earth. And you chasing that little. She mid, bruh. Three, she runs to her family with all your problems, right? Guess what? She might forgive you, your girl, right? But her family won't, and things will never be the same between y'all. Four, she loves to fight and argue. She don't like to talk things out. A relationship will never work like this. You know why? Because things will never get solved. You got to be a problem solver when it comes to issues. Five, she got no sense of accountability, right? Let's say your approach like, babe, I want you to work on this or fix this for the sake of our relationship, right? She's going to get defensive and want to argue right away, right? Instead of saying, you know what, babe, I'll work on this and I'll fix it. This might be the best instant karma I've ever seen. So basically this girl was filming herself working out when she thought that a gym employee was looking at her. Now the girl got very offended by this and decided to confront the gym employee. Now the employee was kind of confused and tried to de-escalate the situation, but the girl must have wanted conflict because she kept pushing it and pushing it. Now eventually the gym employee told her that if she kept it up he would have her banned from the gym and trespass if she ever came back. And of course the girl kept going, so the gym employee did exactly what he said he was going to do. Well, my, my, my. When do we think men are going to figure out that we don't really care about muscles? Me personally, they're a bit of a turn off. Oh, say less. <laughs>
you get a good look, you creep. Pardon my language, but what the fuck is wrong with you? Well played, sir. This is a skit, but it's so true. You gotta be careful out there, guys. You can catch a case just trying to go and get your dumbbells off the rack. Listen, this is what I'm gonna do when I go to the gym. This is what I do, okay? I wanna go and get some dumbbells. There you go. No court cases. trend of women filming men subtly looking at them in gyms it's absolutely insane if i was a man i would just go to an all male gym if a man checks me out in the gym i'm just gonna smile back or if i don't like him i'm just gonna move away i'm not gonna whip out my iphone and then blast him on social media it's like me too gone mad gone crazy but it's funny because i'm actually seeing the repercussions of this i saw another video go viral of a girl doing a squat with the rack and she's stuck in that position and she can't get back up and nobody is helping her the man isn't gonna risk everybody laughing at him and calling him a creep by actually going over to help her well these are now the repercussions because when a woman actually does need help men won't help because they're terrified of being blasted on social media for sexual harassment and if i was a man i wouldn't do it either i'd stay away from these women they're crazy this actually happened to me once i actually experienced one of these donuts live in the flesh she was benching she dropped it i went over to pick it up Soon as I touch the bar, she starts screaming, I've got a boyfriend. Get away from me. Did you know what I did? I just went. Your actions matter. This is what happens. You think, oh, it's fine. They just might not open the door for us because of all the raging feminists. But you can't act out. Society does change. There is no such thing as social engineering. People change their behavior. And guess what? Nine times out of ten, women end up in a really bad situation. Like, she can't get anybody to help her up. Those dudes aren't checking for her. They're not even going to look at her. They're going to ignore her. Um, yeah, we need help. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like nonstop. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. see some girls in the gym who are doled up to a tee like they're going to the nightclub they ain't got a clue what they're doing they're too busy sorting out their phone the tripod doing their makeup we know who you are we know who you are 